Okay, this is Paul, Inventor 3. <clears throat> Let's see, we're going to do a couple experiments here with our barium titanate cylinder here. It's, uh, first of all, our dimensions on this. This is our dimensions. Okay, uh, let's turn our meter on. Oh, hold on, let's, uh, yep, yep, there's a little shock there. Alright, let's uh, connect that up there. And uh, connect this one up over here. Okay. And uh, what do we get in here? 0 0.045 volts. Going down. Hmm. Seven. It's getting stable there. Okay. This thing seems to have a mind of its own sometimes. Uh, see, I'm gonna try to not move the camera here. I'm gonna blow on it. <laughs> I'm blowing into the inside of it. You can see how sensitive the pressures are. The uh, piezoelectric effect. It's, uh, this thing, sometimes I check it, sometimes it's got a negative voltage, sometimes it's got positive voltage. Um, let's see, I'm going to... Whoops. Squeeze it with two fingers here and release. Squeeze it and release. You see it jumps up on the release when it changes pressure. So all right, let's uh let's see what the uh, next experiment I can come up with here. Uh, be right okay. back. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is take these off and it's, uh, it's 223 right now and let's come back in a little bit and uh, see how much this can charge and I'm going to short it out and see if we can get a spark and if you could uh, hear it. Uh, I won't be able to use this meter I might damage it. Uh, so we'll be right back. Let's see what uh, happens in a few minutes here. Okay, we're at uh, back and we're at 238. <clears throat> so we went 15 minutes. See, I just added this uh, black backdrop here. It's not uh, touching it or anything. Okay, now I want to see if we get a spark off here. And we're going to listen very carefully too. It's a very high pitched sound. Okay. That was it. <laughs> if you heard that. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I get a much uh, larger spark off it, so you could actually see, couldn't see that one, but I heard it. I think I actually had to wire in the way of the being able to see, visually see the spark. Uh, anyhow, let's see, next uh, experiment here, yeah, hopefully we're able to hear that. I'm going to, the temperature here or of the cylinder is like 78 degrees Fahrenheit okay so we're gonna stick it in the freezer for a while and cool it down and uh, see what kind of uh, pressure effect we get from that so uh, we'll be right back okay just took it out of the freezer here let's uh, separate those wires quickly Oh, 
1.175 say going down ah, just as I expected See the condensation building up. If I can get that in focus. <laughs> Down to one volt, okay. So, anyhow, uh, Geez, maybe I should make a series out of this. We have to get this to resonate yet. At uh, 18 or 18.5 kilohertz. And, uh, well, we'll see. So, that's our experiments for today. Uh, stay tuned. Talk to you next time. Oh, and don't forget... Remember, as far as anyone knows. <laughs> oh, wait, here's another one. <laughs> All right, colloidal silver. Yeah, that's my buddy Bob, makes his own wine. Keep telling him to make a video on that. His massive garden and greenhouse, too. Alright, till next time. Paul signing off.